Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is June 10th. It is report day today. And that is going to be the primary focus for today. What are we looking at? What kind of numbers are USDA going to throw at us? What kind of surprises will we see today? That will be front and center. We are expecting to see ending stocks decline, though, from where we were last month. That's for old crop and new crop ending stocks. So the trade is going to be looking for, uh, for corn to go from old crop, 1.8 billion carryout, down to maybe a 1.77 is the average trade guess. You got beans going from 400, uh, 400 million carryout last month, and we're expecting a reduction down to 385, so 385 million. And then for new crop, corn. Uh, last month, we were at 2.153. Uh, we're expecting a reduction down to 2.125, uh, but we'll see. I mean, we're still talking numbers up uh, 2 billion or more carry out on new crops. So uh, careful with those numbers. We've seen a heck of a rally, much like beans. They're expecting 305 million uh, is what we had last May or last month. Uh, they're expecting a reduction down to 289 is the average trade guess there. So uh, as I mentioned, a reduction across the board, except for wheat. We are looking for ending stocks to increase for wheat. Old crop, to, uh, 978 million up to 981. Uh, and then for, new, uh, for the new crop wheat contracts, we're looking for, uh, we were at 1.09 or 1.029 billion we're looking for a jump up to 1.045. So still, for wheat, we're looking for an increase. For corn and beans, a reduction. And so after this report, what will we focus on? That'll be weather. Looking at it right now, over the next seven to 10 days, there is rain in the forecast. And pretty decent rain across the Corn Belt. You do have, uh, you do have the next few days, it will be warm. We know that. It's been advertised. We've been talking about it for weeks. It will be warm the next couple days, but then it cools off behind this, and we do see some rain across the Midwest. So as long as that rain uh, ends up coming through, well, it's going to be the middle of June already. So this crop is setting up very nice right now, good subsoil moistures, uh, but we'll see. You got a couple weather models out there, one couple guys saying that, well, behind this, it's going to turn hot and dry. Others are saying, well, it's, we're going to continue to get the timely rains. Yes, things will be warmer than average, but we will continue to get the rains. So we'll see how it plays out. But looking at it right now, you got to think that the, it looks pretty good out there and uh, less, uh, not a lot of stress, especially with this rain coming. As long as we see this rain, well, we may end up seeing this, uh, this market hold these levels. But primary focus will be this report. Also, in these outside markets right now, you got crude oil down 93 cents. That has, looks like it's trying to make a top in here as well. We're back below that $50 mark. Uh, you have got the dollar up 23. And the stock market right now, stock futures down 117 points. So uh, finding a setback. And that's giving a more of a negative tone across commodities here as the dollar strengthens. So that will be trumped by this report. But keep that in mind. The funds right now are certainly long. They're long corn. They're long beans. They're short the wheat at this point, so we'll see how this all plays out. But give us a call if you have questions. We'll get you these numbers as soon as we can here today after 11 o'clock. But you can reach us at 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you again next week. Take care.